on the classic choice of which star to go with. The question is, we still don't have our Gen 2 starter. So who do we go with? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a Chimchar. There we go. So we have our buddy on our squad. So now we have this. This is gonna be super exciting. So I always think it's weird though that they start at level 10 instead of level 5. Level 8 dealing? Let's get into battle. We need to get some XP up on our boy. Plus, we also have to find where we wanna live because this is going to be an interesting series. I really hope that we can just update this as time goes and we can just see how everything kind of comes around for this. And how much do you have left? Oh, nope. That, that was all the experience that we needed for our boy. Come back, Chimchar. Ooh, the yellow apple corns. We definitely want to make sure we grab these real quick. And out of everything, I think the apple corn trees in this mod pack is definitely one of my favorite. It's definitely my favorite version of how apple corn trees are done. There's two or three different ways, but this, this is the best way. It gives you the most production at the easiest route overall. Just the tree system is so much better than the original tree system. And Complex Bexmon has their own tree system for apple corns, but I don't think it's as clean. But this one looks better too, because you actually have the actual apricorn sticking out while in pit complex they're just little 2d images on the leaves as much as i want to get to battling and catching pokemon right now we have literally no supplies to do so so we really need to just get set up and maybe like a mini base before we really start the pixelmon going because not having a way to heal your pokemon makes it a lot more difficult to actually be able to go into battle oh perfect a mine shaft so we can actually or a ravine so we can actually get some iron and stuff going and make our good old machine so this is going to be really good for us let's jump down easy and this thing looks like it goes very very far down so we should have plenty of resources well we better get started because you know the whole point is not minecraft it's pokemon all right now that we've collected ourselves up nearly a stack of iron i think it's about time we can actually you know work on a base and everything get up set up some healing machines a pc so we can actually do the whole fun of pixamon thing okay guys well i want to live next to the water so i think we're going to flatten this area out and that's going to work best overall and then we can actually get to work on the fun things plus this should give us a lot of access to water type pokemon spawns which is just going to be better for us overall so i'm going to mine a bunch of dirt and i'll see you guys when we have a home all right so now that we have a nice little home set up let's see what iron we can actually get and get going here so let's get the rest of our iron so we should be able to make some things i mainly want a pokemon healer so let's see okay so a healer we still need bronze or copper i mean so we don't have any copper which is just super nice it doesn't take diamonds like the original one and then we just need glass for our pc which i was just i, I needed anyways for windows because i don't have windows why is the zubat on the ground that what is going on with this zubat he is face first on the ground he looks like a flower you know i'm not gonna question it you know it's a new mod uh, i'm not gonna question it let's get some glass made up and then we can go ahead and make our pc as well because we just need to make sure that is all set up so we can actually collect and capture pokemon outside of that we just need to grab a couple pieces of bronze for our healer and we're good here we go a little bit of bronze we only need like two or three pieces so we're just gonna collect up this little group here and we can always come back i keep saying bronze don't i it's copper i can come back down here later and always get more but i don't know what else we'll need it for probably a specific pokeball but for for now, I know we need iron and bronze, just that little bit. I think I made a mistake going with stone brick for the walls and cobblestone slabs for the roof. We're gonna have to change that later on, but eventually I plan on building a bigger house. I just need a basic area for now. So let's go ahead and let that last piece of iron finish up. There we go. Let's get the bronze smelting up so we can make our machinery. Actually, I can just make myself a second table or kind of smelter. There we go. Now we can just throw the sand in here and that will give us everything that we need, making our lives a lot easier. And so we can actually, you know, do Pokemon stuff, which is fun. So what do we need for Pokemon? ball really interesting so currently it only lets us make anything with bronze or iron it seems like which is not giving us all the options which is really interesting all right so we have enough bronze and everything now let's make ourselves our healer so there we go we do that and boom we have our healing machine now we can go ahead and do this and we can make our pc so there we go we can put the healer right here and we can go ahead and put the pc right here there we go so now we have our box one access and we can heal up our pokemon with no issues whatsoever so now we can battle pokemon but also you know we can actually start catching pokemon so i think the first thing we want to do is probably honestly get trees set up for apricorns i see more yellow ones over here i want to take Ooh, that's pretty good over there i should probably go get my pickaxe for the the gold block or make an iron one at least i have plenty of iron but let's see what we can get out of there i doubt any pixamon loot can spawn in there but you know pick up a couple pokeballs that'd be really nice here's the chest and we don't get any gold iron nuggets you know some okay things nothing crazy golden apple's nice if this wasn't pixamon i guess we can wear the gold pantaloon this but i mean hey we are getting started i'm just glad that we have a base set up well i'm gonna go ahead and plant these trees probably about this far apart there we go i'm gonna put one right back here and we have all the trees that we need for now because we have yellow and green which can make us ultra ball and dust balls if we get some black apricorns so we can't make any real good pokeballs at the moment which is kind of disappointing i think the best thing we can do is level up our pokemon and honestly just search for any more apricorn trees to see what we can actually unlock for ourselves so this is going to be nice though at least we can actually battle now and not worry about anything too too much because we have the 
ability to heal our Pokemon. Like before, because even if you didn't have a healer before, it would naturally heal over time, but it would take, you know, like 10, 15 minutes for you to just revive your Pokemon and then be at one HP. So it would take just so long to do it naturally. All right, so we finally found a red apricorn seed or tree or yeah, tree, not seed. We just need to sit here and get a seed like we did the blue one, which, you know, super big bonus to the apricorn trees in this mod pack versus any other Pixmon mod pack is that these ones are actually affected by bone meal. So you can grow them up faster than any of the other ones. It's super nice because usually these take so long to grow and produce apricorns. Okay, guys, so now that we've got our apricorns and some iron armor made up, what I want to do specifically is go hunt some skeletons. The reason why I do this because like I mentioned earlier, these actually do work with bone meal so we can super grow these trees. And we have a yellow one grown. I think that's a yellow tree, but we need some of the red and blue ones grown so we can make actual pokeballs that we can use right away. I should also get like a food farm set up at some point, but we can worry about that another time. Well, I was about to go in the cave, but luckily it seems it's about to be nighttime, so it's better to fight them up here than in a cave. Oh yeah, and I keep forgetting that this is 1.19.2, so I can make myself a shield and stuff. It's so weird because it's the newest version, and I'm not used to playing Pokemon on this version of Minecraft whatsoever. I'm also gonna go ahead and come over here and pick up this gold block. Don't wanna waste the gold, plus we can use it for quick falls, which are a really, really good Pokeball to have. Oh my god, there's straight up a combustion here? Oh, I wanna capture it. And finally some skeletons. There we go, buddy. I need your bone meal. Seems most of my trees have grown, but we're gonna have to fix that all up later and get more anyway. So there we go. No, zombie. I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for more skeletons, and I straight up don't see any. And I don't want to go too far, honestly, because I don't want that combustion to despawn. Ah, oh, there we go. Another skeleton, finally. Come on, give me at least two bones. That should be enough for another. Yeah, okay. So four bones should be, what, 16 bone meal? Yeah, 12 bone meal. I'm okay with that. That's plenty. And we're gonna go ahead and sleep the rest of the night away so we don't have to worry about any of the monsters. Oh, you stupid zombies. And there's some creepers about. How about you guys just all go all the way? All right, so let's see how this works. Blue tree, and it's clearly working. Come on, work up. Give me a... There we go. You can see at least it works before you can have no effect. Okay, so that's big helpful. We got another tree going. So now we just got to kind of wait a little bit and get a bunch of apricorns. But even with some of these yellow ones, hopefully we should be able to make some Pokeballs. Oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. Oh my God, where did you come from? And you just blew up my house. I mean, at least it didn't blow up like my Pokeball and healing machines and whatnot, but geez. Well, it's not that hard to fix the house up at least. Now, as long as they didn't break the machines, it could have been a whole lot worse. Now, let's see what Pokeballs we can make. Okay, so we can make a couple quick balls with blue and yellow. We can make great balls with blue and red. Great balls probably our best bet, or we can make quick balls at the same time, but we can't make both. I think a great ball overall is definitely better because a quick ball, if it doesn't work on the first try, then becomes useless. At least a great ball, you know, multiple chances to use that same percentage of a chance to catch it. Well, it's five versus 1.5, but it's more consistent. Okay, with four great balls, let's see if we can catch ourselves another Pokemon. And it did seem like that combustion did despawn. You know, we can just catch ourselves a little Pidgey to make sure we have our Pokedex starting to fill up from the beginning because I don't want to miss out on anything. So, boom, let's go in Ember. We should do too much damage. 73% HP left. He are chilling. Let's go ahead and hit another Ember off. And hopefully, if we can catch this thing in like one or two Pokeballs, we might be able to catch ourselves another one, another Pokemon. So, come on, Pidgey, get in the Great Ball. Come on, come on. There we go. Shaky, shaky. One, two, three. I'm still trying to learn the shakes. There we go. Beautiful. We got ourselves a new friend. You know, we could use a water type. Let's see if we can get in battle with this side duck. And that, that way we will have a water type on our team as well. All right, let's lead off with a scratch. No point of using fire type moves on this guy. We're just going to look to do damage. Even scratch didn't do a whole lot. Jeez, I was expecting that a lot. Let's go ahead and get a leer off then so we can lower his physical or defense and get another scratch off so we can start doing some more damage to the side duck. I mean, it is level 16 versus our 13. And so that's not the best. Oh, they've disabled us. Oop, we are 2 HP left. Come on. And that's no good for our gym chart, which leaves just Pidgey. Okay, so with just Pidgey left, I think we go ahead and try to capture this thing. Where is it? He's right here. Come here, Psyduck. Get in the great ball. I know you can do it. You've got this. Come on, little Psyduck. Come on, come on, come on. And I think we've got it. Yes, there we go, Psyduck. Adding Psyduck and Pidgey to the team. I think that's a great place to go ahead and end off today's episode of Copper Monster. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe down below if you did, and I'll see y'all next time, Rockstars. Peace, peace.